Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVersity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are uh, talking about um, HDP administrator, sorry, HDP certified administrator or HDP CA exam. Uh, so far, we have covered configuring a local HDP repository, installing Ambari server and Ambari agent, and then install HDP using Ambari install wizard. And I have shown you how to install uh, um, HDP using Ambar install wizard one uh, tool at a time. So we have uh, installed uh, HDFS, Yarn, MapReduce, uh, Tez, Pig, Hive, Scoop, Uzi, etc. Okay, and there are other tools also which you need to learn, and I will add over time. In the meantime, you can also see how to add a new node to an existing cluster so we will be starting a new topic or a new task adding a new node to an existing cluster so as you are aware we have six nodes on aws which we have used to set up the cluster and this is our ambari url once the setup is done if you log in you will see our HDP cluster. Here I just started the services, so that's why uh, everything is sorry. I just started the EC2 instances, that's why every service is stopped. So I just need to click on start all, confirm start. It will take at least three four minutes to start all the services, and then we will see how to add a new node to this. In the meanwhile, while it is being started, we to add a new node, we need to have the node. What we'll do is we will provision a new instance on EC2. So choose this one and deselect. Click on one of them, actions. Click on launch more like this. So you don't need to worry about all this uh, any of the settings it will make our life easier okay if you see it is trying to provision c3 c3 dot x large and hdp 23 is the security group it is using and these are the ports that are opened and instance details the same uh, vpc and subnet storage Okay, storage we have to edit. We need 50 GB here. So 50 GB storage. And then next uh, uh, tag instance. And here we'll be adding worker 04. And uh, click on configure security group. Okay, typically on day to day basis, we'll only add workers, we hardly add masters. If we had, if we add a master, uh, once we add master, you have to move some of the services to a uh, new instance or to to a new node, which we might see later. But for now, that is not important. Now everything is done. Review and launch. Click on launch. Launch instance. Okay. Click on view instances. So it is being started. Let me filter for HDP 23. And this is the new IP address IP 172.31.48.124. And let me update my hosts file. Okay, the IP address is one seventy two thirty one forty eight one twenty four. HTTP 23 worker 04. 
okay now I saved it it is still starting it will take little time so we once we provision the instance we have to go through all the steps we have to do the prerequisites we have to configure the HDP local repository and then we have to add as a host from wizard so we will go through all those steps in this video okay the services are up and running you can refresh to make sure everything is clean yes most of the alerts are gone so now you can see that all the services are up and running here and we have added one component at a time by going to the videos in the certification here so the worker of four is started and now we will actually set, uh, start setting uh, setting up the uh, servers first we will set up the local repository and then we will install all the prerequisites on the new node which is called as worker of four for that we need to get the private ip and the private ip is 172 uh, 31 okay and uh, from the bastion server which i have already logged in i am trying to connect to the new one and then if you look at hcm dot repos dot d and hit enter and then ls minus ltr you have only red hat repositories you don't have the ambari and hdp repository files here so we need to copy hdp dot repo and ambari dot repo files here and then we have to run the command m repo list so that we can actually see the repositories uh, of our ambari and hdp so I am coming out of this host. Now if you go to cd etc m, m dot repos dot d on our 37 where we have set up the m repository and httpd server and run ls minus ltr you see ambari dot repo hdp dot repo in caps hdp minus utils dot repo in caps but you didn't see the hdp dot repo which is where hdp is small in uh, which in lower case so what happened is because we have two repositories in uh, one file hdp dot repo earlier um, when we downloaded from the uh, hortonworks uh, uh, website it has resolved into two separate files hdp dot repo and hdp utils dot repo and uh, it ha internally it has deleted the hdp dot repo uh, with lower case hdp with lower case so if you look at these contents of these files you you see nothing but the our local repository which we have configured so we have to copy these three files even though earlier we played with only two files somebody dot repo and HTTP with lowercase dot repo or HTTP dot repo in which HTTP is in lowercase we copied those two files on all the nodes and then we validated now we have to copy all these three files okay so for that what we have to do is we have to run scp ambari dot repo to ec2 minus user yet let, uh, let me copy paste the ip address copy and paste and the location is home directory so i'm first copying to home directory and then i want to copy hdp HDP star dot repo so it will copy both the files now I am actually doing SSH 
minus TT ECT user and in the double quotes what I am doing is CP sorry sudo CP I am copy I am trying to copy the files which are in the home directory on the new host 172.31.48.124 okay so here it try to connect to that and then whatever command we are giving in double quote it will be executed so asterisk dot repo where should we copy it we should copy to etc dot slash m dot repos dot d okay now we can validate ssh ec2 minus user at ls minus ltr etc m dot repos dot d and hit enter what happened okay there, there are double ec2 user here that's why it failed now you will see the output you can see all the three files and now you can also run sorry sudo m repo list and hit enter and it should resolve all the three repositories somebody hdp and hdp utils without any issues From here you will see the actual repositories the this is nothing but it will upload some packages internally so you can ignore these things but these are the things which you need to focus and you can see that hdp 2.3 hdp utils and ambari are resolving properly so we have configured local repository on the new node first and now we have to set up the prerequisites to set up the prerequisites I have a directory called 04 setup underscore cluster. So you have to get into that. And I want to create a new file. Okay. VI, VI cluster course worker 04.txt okay and the ip address i will copy from here paste here save it okay and we we have to run this prepare node.sh using pssh which is parallel ssh if you remember to set up the prerequisites on all the nodes in the cluster we have leveraged a concept called parallel SSH and again you uh, you can see my earlier videos about how we have set it up. If you follow my videos you should have these files exactly in this location and now we have cluster host worker 04.txt with the new IP address and then I have to modify this file set up AWS Red Hat uh, 2.2 to this new new file. So what I will do is I will copy set up AWS Red Hat to set up AWS Red Hat dot worker 04.sh. I will run, I will update I sorry. Okay, now the file is copied. Now I will update this one to point to this one. And also I, I, I want to update this file also so that in future if you have to maintain all the servers, it will make my life easier. Okay, I have already added here. Okay, now copy this file name. And here, instead of cluster hosts, I have to give worker04 
and work as 0 4 okay save it come out and now run this script what it will do it will copy the prepare node.sh to the remote host and then it will exe execute it and it will reboot the host okay it has copied onto the remote host now it will start executing it once the execution is done it will restart the host at the end and it will take it a little bit time to reboot the server and once it is rebooted we will start setting up using the ambari wizard to to add that new host to uh, to the existing clusters which will wrap up this topic that being said for now this is it uh, as of now as part of this topic add a new node to an existing cluster we have provisioned an instance from AWS and uh, we actually set up the local HDP repository and then we, we have installed all the prerequisites that are required so that it can be added to the, uh, uh, to the cluster using Ambari wizard okay so that being said i hope you're enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certifications please join my linkedin group called uh, itversity minus certifications and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye